Where the trillionaires, man, what it do with y'all? Welcome back to another video, all that nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, man, welcome back to another video, man. That's gonna be a very serious ass video. So let's just get straight to it. Title of this video is going to be called. Move out A S A P. Now let me explain. Hometown hero. Aw. Here you go. You are a hometown hero. You 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 know, you just want to you you want to you want to put your city on. You want to put your state on. You want to be your hometown savior. Savior. You want to be your state savior. That's you. That's you. You want to give back to your to your community. You want to. You want to. Um, I can't think of everything. But you know, you just want to be the king. Or if you're a female watching this, be the queen of your damn state. Uh, I don't know if you heard or not. <laughs> because I'm going to make a video about this on my Visionary Records channel. And basically, yeah, I'm going to say it. Look, G, I don't know if you heard about Nipsey Hussle. I don't know if you heard about Young Dolph. I don't know if you heard about PNB Rock. Well, where was PNB Rock at? Where, he was from uh, Philadelphia. I think he was in Philadelphia at the time. We just going to use his name. But I don't know if you heard about Lil Snoop. I don't know if you heard about Chink's Drugs. I don't know if you heard about these motherfuckers. But all of this, I'm going to say on some shit. Keep on trying to be the damn hero of your hometown. Some shit. Watch that same shit happen to your ass. I'm a L.A. nigga. <laughs> oh, I'm a L.A. nigga now. I don't claim my state, G. I don't know. Mm -mm. I I would never. I would. I would never in a million years tell you where the fuck it is that I was from. I would never do that shit. You want to know why though? You want to know why? You see, it wasn't always like this. Basically, that um that example I just gave of being the hometown hero, that's what I was at first. That's that's the mindset it is that I had. I wanted to be the one, right? I wanted to be the one, you know, I like to make music and shit like that. So I wanted to be the one, you know, when it came to rapping, right? I wanted to be the one to put my damn city on. I wanted to be the one to motivate my city. I wanted to be the one to do that. But you see, thing is, though, I'm sorry to tell you on some shit, but You're not welcome. And I made a video about... I, I Look, I always make videos about this shit, but... One of the videos was called... A prophet ain't welcome in his hometown. A prophet is not welcome in his hometown. Now, you might be asking why. Why, it, why is you a prophet? Because I'm telling you... Look, man, I'm just going to tell you the game. You see, when you're in the beginning... Good thing I brought this up. <laughs> Before I even get to what I wanted to talk about, but look, 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 man, what the fuck? But look, G, why is a prophet, why is a prophet now welcome in his hometown? I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you what it is. You want to know why? Simply because you are too damn familiar Before, but like, I, like, like what I was just saying, you are a prophet. However, 
as a prophet, right? As a prophet, there is going to be something called life that is going to happen to your ass. And the thing about life on some shit, it's going to teach your ass lessons. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. Now, obviously, I'm putting this on the financial channel on some shit. So with that being said, one of the biggest lessons it is that you're going to learn in life is some shit. You're going to realize, you're going to realize, motherfucker, you're going to realize why you need money simply because you have been broke for so damn long and you have seen how being broke happens. You, you, you seen how being broke, you, you seen how being broke well, motherfucking, it will stop you from doing what it is that you want. Being broke will stop you from doing the things it is that you need to do. Being broke, motherfucker, I'm telling you, man, true color show when you broke. So basically, you know, you ain't going to get no damn respect. You know, you know, real talk, it can even happen in dating on some shit. You know, same thing when it comes to respect, though. But like in dating on some shit, you might have limited abundance. What's some What's some other things, man? It, look, man, it's it's a whole lot of fuckery that happens when you're broke. I'm telling you what it is. So with that being said, point I'm trying to get across though, man, you know, that's one of the examples. I'm telling you what it is. Motherfucker, it's multiple examples of life on some shit. You might have been depressed. You might have been an introvert. You know, you see, you see the drip it is I got on now some shit. I, I'm a fly ass nigga. I'm telling you what it is. I'm I'm taking very, I'm taking very great care of myself with some shit. Before all of this though, look G, my swag was fading away at one point. I'm telling you what it is. So, you know, you probably don't have no damn swag. You know, you probably was, you probably was ugly. You all type of shit, all type of life lessons. That was you on your, on your profit come up journey on some shit. Now, it's going to be a point in time because I ain't going to lie to you, G. <laughs> I'm him. But, you know, it's going to be a point in time though, right? It's going to be a point in time where you're going to you're going to make it on some shit. I'm here to look, man. If you're a prophet, you will always make it. I don't know when you're going to make it, but look, man, the quicker you get on your A game and the quicker you start to take life seriously out in this bitch, that's the quicker you're going to make your dreams a reality. Until, un, look, man, until you get until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired out in this bitch, until then or some shit, you're going to keep on bullshitting and you're going, you're going to keep on having some damn life lessons. Me personally on some shit, I said I'd be damned. You get tired of that shit at some point. <laughs> but look, man, point I'm trying to get across though, man, all of this I'm trying to say, when it comes to, look, man, you trying to be a damn hometown hero on some shit, but point I'm trying to get across is they don't respect your ass. They not going to respect you, my G. You want to know why? The reason as to why they not going to respect you on some shit is simply because you are too damn familiar. Look, G, this shit is in the damn Bible. <laughs> I'm, telling you what, I'm telling you what it is out in this bitch. I was literally looking at a video earlier about this shit. Real talk. Um, I think her name, her YouTube channel is like Latoya or something like that. But real talk though, she was speaking some real shit. She said in the damn Bible, right? She said in the Bible, G, look, man, look, man, Jesus, I said Jesus, sorry, but you know, Jesus, he went to a whole, he went to a whole different country or a whole different land or something like that. I think it was like Nazareth or something like that. And basically what he was saying, what she was saying was, I don't know, look, I, I, look, G. I don't know if it's Nazareth or not, but you know, basically what I'm saying is Jesus went to a whole different land. He went to a whole different land, right? And when he was in that whole different land, Jesus Jesus was talking that real. I'm telling you what it is. He, he Jesus was speaking some real ass shit to to the um to the new land it, it is that he was on, right? So with that being said, though, right? The um you know when he was when he was speaking that real that real you know in and, and that new land. Oh, everybody was rocking with Jesus out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is. Everyone was rocking with Jesus. They were, look, man, they was praising Jesus. They was respecting Jesus. You know, they like, real talk, man, Jesus was him. I'm telling you what it is. Then, then Jesus had this thought. Then Jesus had this thought of returning back to where it is that he came from. Now, like I just told you on some shit, I just told you that Jesus, I told you that Jesus in that, in that whole different land, in that whole different land, right? Everybody was praising Jesus out in this bitch. He was speaking, look, man, they was looking at Jesus like he was speaking some of the realest things that they have ever heard in their life. They felt the presence of Jesus. They was like, they was looking at Jesus like they were starstruck. <laughs> Red top, man. Like, Jesus was Jesus was was a celebrity today, as I'm telling you the game. 
But then Jesus came back to his, then Jesus came back to his, to his, to his place that he was, um, that he was from. And he tried to do the same exact thing it is that he did in that new land that he was at. So he went, he went back to his, um, he went back to the place he was from and he tried to reenact what he did in that new land. And you want to know what happened on some shit? <laughs> You want to know what happened? Is is that who I is that who I think it is? Oh, you oh, I remember you. You you're you was that person. I'm talking to your ass now. Oh, you was that person that was in the back in the class. You know, you didn't even talk. Oh, I remember you. You was broke. Oh, I remember you. You was depressed. Oh, I I, rem I remember you. You couldn't get no hoes. Oh, I remember you. You you know you was you know you post you posted what you was going through on social media. You know you was posting what you was going through on social media, and you, like you was fucked up. Oh snap! I remember you now. You still you you still dealing with that? You still broke, huh? Come on. Uh you you still broke. You 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 one of us or some shit. Hey, come 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 back to us, man. You you one of us. They ain't gonna respect your ass. <laughs> they ain't gonna respect you, my G. Hell to the motherfucking no. Nah. That what happened to Jesus. It might have been. It might have been. Um, I'm telling you what it is. It literally happened to Jesus. You know, I, I think in the Bible it said right. You know, oh um, I, I think in the Bible it said um, it said um, you know they they was they was questioning Jesus like they were saying like um you know they they were saying what they, they was telling Jesus like what are you doing here? Ain't ain't you Mary's son? Ain't you Joseph's son? They question, they questioning him. <laughs> I'm telling you, what, they questioning him, and basically what I'm saying is they gonna be doing the same shit to you on some shit in a modern ass way. I'm telling you what it is. And so, but yeah, man. And um, you know, good thing I brought this up. Like I said earlier in the damn video, look, G, I'm just gonna tell you what it is, man. Look, man. <laughs> Good thing I thought about this. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Like I said, you are a prophet. You are a prophet. As long as you keep on being consistent with the dream, as long as you being as long as you keep on being consistent with the vision, you will attain everything it is that you always wanted. You will. Fact. So with that being said though, right? With that being said, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true that they are blind to you at the current moment, right? Yeah, it's very true. I'm just telling you what it is. If you haven't made it yet, if you're still in your come up stage of making the dream a reality, they're going to be blind. But I'm just going to let you know right now, man. I know you probably I know you probably hate the fact that they blinded some shit, but I'm just going to tell you what it is. You look, man. It's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is, man. It's honestly a blessing in disguise, and I'm about to tell you motherfucking why in that motherfucking rhyme. Guys, <laughs> real talk though, man. I'm really going to tell you why. You want to know why it's a blessing in disguise? Like what I said earlier in this damn video. I don't know if you heard these names before, but I'm about to say it one more time. And motherfucker, I, look, I, I, could, I, could, I could list all of these motherfuckers off the name of my, off of my fucking fingers. <laughs> Lil Snoop, Chinks Drugs, Nipsey Hussle, Young Dolph, PMB Rock. I can't hold my other finger on some shit, but let me see. Let me see who else I can think about because Slug G. Is Biggie considered one? <laughs> 
Well, how about how about Tupac? How about which I consider Biggie and Tupac to be one of them? Basically, look, man, look, man. I can't think of everybody right now. Oh, uh, um, XXX Tentacion. <laughs> I can't think of everybody right now. But point I'm trying to get across my G. Basically what it is, I'm trying to say with all those people names it is that I listen on some shit. Those were once prophets. Those were those were once individuals. Those were once individuals that had a dream. They had they had to do the come up process like you're doing right now. And they eventually made their dream a reality. With that being said, though, right? With that being said, they made one big mistake. And they, I, I'm telling you, man, you probably, you probably was going to do the same exact thing if I ain't say no damn thing. I'm telling you what it is. But the mistake it is that they made is some shit, my G. The mistake it is that they made. I don't think you looked at, I don't think you look at that Boosie interview on some shit. But look, man, before I get off topic even more, but the, the, the biggest mistake it is that they made. They stayed where it is that they stayed where it is that they were no longer welcome in. Motherfucker, I'm talking to you now. When you make the damn dream of reality out in this bitch, motherfucker, you made it. <laughs> you made it out in this bitch. You made it. So with that being said, or some shit, if you made it, then why the fuck are you still at a place that you know of individuals you know that they haven't made it? <laughs> you know these you know these people that you know these people didn't make their dreams a reality. You know these people are struggling. You know these people is depressed. You know these people is fighting their inner struggles, inner conflict, and you know all of this shit. And here go your ass, you are, you are a completed ass spirit and you want to come back at some shit? A place that you even know how that shit feels. So why would you want to come back? I'm just telling you what it is. You know, real talk. I'm, I'm here to tell you what it is. Even these motherfuckers might even tell you as they, they might even give you the damn warning signal. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm telling you what it is. They probably giving your ass a damn warning. They probably saying, motherfucker, you made it. Go away. Go away. And the reason why is simply because, motherfucker, you made it. Because I'm here to tell you right now, like I said, when it came to that Boosie interview, Boosie know what the fuck he talking about. I highly suggest you watch that damn Boosie interview. I think it was like a couple of years ago and some shit, but he was saying, he was talking about, he was talking about the hometown curse and some shit. You made it, bro. So with that being said, here you go. Look, man. As you, as you already know, you have a different mentality than everyone else. You're, look, man, and I made videos about this shit. I always say, right? I always say that real talk, man. Look, man, I mean, I dress like a rich nigga now. I ain't gonna lie. But, but you know, before all of this, though, man, I know how it feels to dress the same. I know how it feels to dress the same, like the same type of music that everybody else like and shit like that. You know, motherfucker, I, I know I know what people are going through because I was once just like them. But the thing is, though, thing is, is some shit. The thing that separated me from everyone else is some shit was my damn mentality. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. That's the thing. That's, that's what's different about you, right? So with that being said, right then and there, when you got a different mentality out in this bitch, right then and there on some shit. You cannot see eye to eye with the damn 99%. You can't see eye to eye with these motherfuckers. I'm telling you what it is. You can't. I'm going to say this one more time. You cannot, you, you cannot, you cannot see eye to eye with individuals that is the 99%. Simply because y'all are in two different ball games. Y'all are in two different leagues. So with that being said, like I was, so basically, good thing I brought this, brought this up as well. Like I was saying, when you're broke, True Colors show when you're broke. Also, True Colors gonna show when you're rich. But with that being said, it's some shit. With True Colors show when you're broke, right? So here you go. You got a different mentality, but you're broke. With that being said, you ain't gonna get no damn respect. I'm telling you what it is. When you get rich or some shit, right? 
when you get rich or some shit, you gonna have a different ass mentality. You, you real talk, you, 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 you motherfucker, motherfucker. When you're different on some shit, when you got a different ass mentality on some shit, you gonna become successful somehow, some motherfucking way. I'm telling you what it is. But point I'm trying to get across though, man. All of this I'm trying to say on some shit, man. When you when you try to when you try to be the rich version of you, because like I said, you're gonna make it. When you try to be the rich version of you with your different ass mentality, right, and you still in the you still in the place that you came from or some shit, what's gonna happen is, right? What's gonna happen is you're you're gonna think as we all know, 99% of individuals have a negative have neg it is it, vibrating at a low vibration. You have look, man. They're, vib they're vibrating at a low vibration. They got negative thinking, negative feelings, all that shit. So with that being said, it's some shit. Here you go. You might be a high vibrational being out in this bitch. Huh. With that being said, though, if you still in the place that you came from and you already made it, what's going to happen is what's going to happen is some shit. They going to think they they not look man they're negative individuals they can't think positive I'm telling you what it is but with that being said though right they're gonna think in their damn mind that since you made it but you're still there they're gonna think that you are shitting on them I'm telling you what it is and when they think that you are shitting on them right I told you look at that damn Boosie interview when you look at that when you look at that Boosie interview right. Boosie said that basically, right? Basically, Boosie said that um, I don't know if it was him or not, but I think it was. He said that he he said that he gave his homie like fifteen dollars on some shit, right? He gave he gave his homie fifteen dollars out of the kindness of his heart, right? That's what Boosie did to his friend. And you want to know how his friend looked at Boosie on some shit? You want to know how he looked at Boosie on some shit? Oh, you think you better than me? Do I gotta say any more? <laughs> they think that they think that you're thinking that you're better than them. They think that you're thinking you're shitting on them. Or I won't even say they think that you think no. They're thinking, you're not thinking on some shit, but they're thinking that every single thing it is that you do, you are shitting on the yes. Here you go. You are successful. You you are a successful entrepreneur, right? You finally made whatever it is you want to do, photography, fashion, whatever the fuck, dancing. <laughs> but you know, those individuals, right? Those individuals it is that you want to know some shit. Look, G. You know, they probably was laughing at your ass. They probably they probably didn't believe in the dream fully on some shit, right? So with that being said, they didn't believe you was gonna make it. With that being said, when you stayed optimistic, when you persevered and you you just you said, motherfucker, you was gonna make it on some shit and you did, what's gonna happen is, right, these motherfuckers gonna be stunned. They're gonna be like, damn, this motherfucker actually did it. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. So with that being said, it's some shit, you still might be in the same damn place, right? So what's gonna happen though is what's gonna happen is on on in their perspective right in their perspective here you go you trying to be the damn like i was saying earlier on some shit you trying to be the damn savior on some shit you trying to be the damn a uh, hometown hero on some shit right so what's going to happen is what's going to happen is is basically they know that you made it and like i said like i said a couple minutes ago they're going to think that you're shitting on them they're going to think you're stunning on them they're going to think you're flexing on them when no matter what it is that you're trying to do you're trying to help these motherfuckers they're going to think oh damn you better than me you trying you trying to you trying to tell these motherfuckers the blueprint how to be successful they're going to say oh you think you're better than me you know you whatever whatever you do out in this bitch it could be it could be out of the kindness of your damn heart these motherfuckers will always think that you, that 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 you're trying to shit on their ass and I'm telling you what it is, G. Just like how they don't respect your ass when you broke. Same goes when you rich. They look, man. They will never respect you on some shit. So I highly suggest you stop. You stop looking for these motherfuckers to respect your ass. They will never respect you on some shit. But with that being said, though, man, it's going to be a different way. From it's going to look, man. When you broke, you get to see. You get to see how it is when you broke or some shit because you might be broke right now. When you get rich or some shit, right? It's going to be in a totally different way. And basically, what the fuck it is, I just said. They're going to think that you're shitting on them, right? So I'm telling. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is out in this bitch. So, I, so basically, what I'm saying is, if you don't want to end up on the damn news, <laughs> motherfucker, if you don't, if you don't want to end up like Lil Snoop, if you don't want to end up like Nipsey Hussle, Young Duff, and Chinks Drugs, everybody else in some shit, if you don't want to end up like these motherfuckers, man, I highly suggest, I highly suggest you move out and you never come back. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. I'm sorry.
I'm so I'm sorry, G. I'm I, I'm sorry it has to be like this, man. I'm sorry, bruh. I, I know. It, it sucks, ain't it? Me personally on some shit, I said <laughs> it don't matter to me no more. Like I said, look, man, you look I, you can you gotta be cold, bruh. Well, I said bruh like that. <laughs> but Reds, you got you gotta be cold, G. You gotta be cold, man. I, I'm sorry to tell you on some shit, bruh. Why well, I keep on saying that, but <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to tell you, man, you 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 gotta be cold, man. You gotta walk alone, B. You wanna be a new version of you? You wanna be a new version of you? Motherfucker, you need a new version of life out in this bitch. I'm sorry to tell you on some shit. I I know, like I said, I tried it myself, man. I tried to be the new version of me, stuck in my old life, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I didn't get no respect. Can't no I'm telling it literally, it's literally in the damn Bible. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you what it is. This shit is literally in the Bible. They they telling you what's gonna look, man. They're telling you what, 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 look, man, they're telling you what will happen to your ass when you are the chosen one, when you are a prophet. Look, man, I'm going to make a video about this on my word of visionaries. I'm telling you what it is, man. I'm telling you the game out in this bit. You might be the reincarnation of Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the game. I look, I look, man, I ain't trying to say I'm Jesus or nothing like that, but everything that's in the damn Bible and some shit is literally what the fuck it is that I'm going through. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, man. I, I I can't help but to think I'm I'm not like the reincarnation of Jesus. It's it's either I'm the reincarnation of Jesus or something, or it's either I got I got like it got either I got like um the same DNA that Jesus got on some shit because bro, I'm literally going through the same exact thing, and you might be doing the same exact thing. You might be going. I tell you, man. Go go look, man. Go and hear this. Look, man. If you don't want to read the Bible, because I ain't never read it before. I, I ain't never read it before. But you can you can listen to it, or you could you can hear other individuals that's very heavy on the Bible. You can hear what it is that they be saying on some shit. I'm telling you what it is. Because all it, I'm telling you, man. It's, it all of this is being related to what the fuck it is I'm going through. And I'm sorry for cussing when it comes to like the Bible and shit like that. But I'm sorry. But real talk, man. I I, I just find it funny. On I just find it funny, man. But, oh yeah, man, so, that's all this I'm trying to say, bro, you know, it just, all of this I'm trying to say, like I said, man, you ain't welcome, my G, you ain't welcome, you got, you got to move out, that's why, that's why I'm going to title this damn video, you have to move out ASAP, my G, you got to move out ASAP, you got to move out ASAP, bro, I, like I said, man, I'm sorry, I know you don't want to move out, I know you want to try your very absolute best, but like I said, man, like I said, you could try. I tried it. It didn't work. So I'm trying. I'm literally trying to save your ass the damn time. <laughs> but you know, you know, you might have to learn it from yourself. I mean, I'm just. I'm gonna tell you one more time, my G. Look, man. This might. This might get this shit through your damn head. Look, G. I. I literally wasted seven years. I, I've been trying to make the dream a reality for seven years. I wasted seven years, bro. Seven years, G. So if you, if you look, man. I don't know why the fuck you want to say, I don't, I don't know why the fuck you want to, you want to, you want to, um, I don't know why the fuck you want to waste seven years. It's like a damn prison sentence out in this bitch. You want to waste seven years of your damn life being a fuck up, being a failure and motherfucker, you, you, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to motherfucking, you want to go through that shit? Because as I realize, as, you know, as I recall to some shit, ain't your motherfucking, ain't your motherfucking goal is to make the dream a reality? <laughs> So I mean, I'm just telling you what it is. In order to make your ass, in order to, in order to make your dream a reality out in this bitch, then you got to do what the fuck it is you got to do. You got to learn from other individuals, and you got to do what the fuck it is that you got to do, bro, as quick as possible. <laughs> I'm, te I'm telling you what, it, man, you got to do this shit. I'm telling you, man, this this is literally what the fuck it is that I'm doing right now. Look, G, I'm telling you, man, you look, man, you gotta have the mentality. Look, man, I'm about to give you some game right quick. You literally had, look, man. Good thing I brought this up. You literally have to have wherever it is that you're trying to move to on some shit, wherever it is that you're trying to move to, my G, you need to have the mentality as if you already moved there. Like, look, man. Look. <laughs> like, real talk, man. The place it is that I'm from or some shit, I don't resonate with that shit no more. It, that, shit is, that shit is outdated. Look, G, I'm Hollywood. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is, and you know where Hollywood is at or some shit. With that being said, look, G, you look, man, where it, whatever it is that you're trying to go, I already know where it is that I'm trying to go on some shit. So with that being said, though, right? With that being said, motherfucker, I look, man, 
Look, man, I'ma just say it on some shit. Motherfucker, I think LA, I feel LA, I talk LA. Motherfucker, I am from LA. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. That's what you're gonna have to do. If you if you ain't physically there yet on some shit, you gotta be spiritually there out in this bitch. You gotta be you gotta be mentally there. Like your your com your karmic contract, everything, your destiny on some shit, all of that shit gotta say where the fuck it is that you're going to on some shit. I'm telling you what it is. Motherfucker, I got LA bitches now. <laughs> I'm telling you what, motherfucker, I got LA money. Motherfucker, I got an LA job out in this bitch, and I'm not even in LA. That's what you gotta do out in this bitch. Whatever it is you trying to go to on some shit, you gotta do the same exact thing. You better, you better start looking for work. You better start looking for these damn houses, mansions, or apartments, whatever the fuck. Penthouse. <laughs> but hey, man, you gotta look at that shit in that specific state. You gotta look at it. You gotta look for a damn job in that specific state. You gotta look for a damn car. You look, man. You 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 just gotta get yourself in that damn habit of saying, "I'm there." <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. You, I'm telling you, man. You need you need to motherfucking detach. You need you need to detach. You need to detach out in this bitch. You need you need to detach as as quick as possible, my G. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm gonna say it one more time. You ain't gonna get no respect when you broke, and you ain't gonna get no respect when you rich or some shit. <laughs> you know they look. Basically, what I'm saying is they gonna hate your ass when you broke, and they gonna hate your ass when you rich. Now, when you broke or some shit, you could get away with it. Uh, well, it depends. <laughs> But when you rich or some shit, you damn sure can't get away with it, my G. They gonna think you shitting on the ass. But that being said, little Snoop, I'm telling you what it is, man. Move out ASAP out in this bitch. I'm telling you, man, you got look, man. You gotta do this shit hella quick, man. That's I'm telling you, man. I'm giving you the blueprint. You you better move out extremely quick, quick. You see how I keep on saying? I'm telling you, you got to do this shit with a. You got to do this shit with instance. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. You might have to. You might have to pray to God about this shit. Saying, God, please move me. Please move me to this specific state. It is. I'm trying. You got. You got to do it, my G. You got to. You got to do all of this shit quick, bro. You ain't new. You new life. You are no longer welcome in your old life, G. I'm sorry it has to be this way. You ain't welcome, bro. You're not welcome. If you want to hear me keep on talking about this, I'm about, to, I'm about to end this damn video. But if you want to hear me keep on talking about this, go look at my past videos. A prophet ain't welcome in his hometown. Go look at my other videos of, you know, just anything dealing with, like, what you would go through through the struggle out in this bitch, man. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> tell me what it is, man. So, if you like this video, man, stay tuned for some more videos. And we out. Tease up.